once more for the next module. Fresh video, fresh outfit, fresh attitude. Okay, let's keep going. Your students have learned something. They've done some assignments and activities, and now you must check for understanding, you know, the little quiz, a little assessment. And that's what we're going to cover. The new quizzes feature in Canvas. And I'm just going to jump right in and let's just get straight to it. So we are going to learn what is new quizzes, locating and building using the new quiz feature, outcomes and how to import them, uh, attaching the teaks to the question and where to view reports for analytics. Now I'm just going to give you a very top level view of new quizzes. I'm not going to dive into some of the smaller features. Uh, we will go into master paths. Uh, Jeff will be covering that, but this is just dipping your toes in new quizzes and getting to know how to create a quiz. So here I am in my dashboard. I'm going to go on to my Canvas starter course that you're currently in. And here we go in my Canvas, my course navigation. I'm going to click on quizzes. And here we are, quizzes. Woo! And now if you use Google Forms before, this is nothing like it. I'm just kidding. It's kind of similar that you can choose some uh, question types and whatnot, but there's additional features that you wouldn't find in Google Forms. So let's dive in. On the right hand side, you see your plus quiz, your add quiz button. I'm going to click on this. Okay. Now, in order to get started, you have to begin with your assignment name. And a quiz. You set your points, who you're going to, uh, what the assignment group is. If you're going to display it as a grade, percentage, complete and complete letter grade. You're going to, if you want, we'll go into this in a later, later time. Your submission attempts, who you're going to assign it to. And let's save. Just very simple, getting started. Then you put on your, you know, architect hat, your quiz architect hat. You're going to start to design the quiz. Up here at the top, you have this little uh, Wilbur, for those of you who've seen Charlotte's Web. And if you haven't, I have no words for you. You have outcomes, which I'm going to touch on later. And then you can preview the quiz. Here you go with your title of your quiz, your instructions. And now I'm going to add my first question with this tiny plus sign, AKA the add button. Here's where you would insert content. Again, we see our tiny Wilbur. That would be your question bank. I have no questions in the bank, uh, but if I click on it, you'll see I have no questions. As time goes on, you'll find that your bank will fill up. Here are the different question types, categorization, file upload, formula. I encourage you to look through these, play with them, and we're going to give you some examples to look at um, in this module. Right down here, I want to call your attention to stimulus. What is it? So, scroll down. There we go. Check this out. Stimulus gives you the ability to give students a piece of content that could be paired with a question. Um, so you can add some text, you can add some video. You could really use this feature to create some sort of a little bit of learning within the assessment. It's a, it's its own learning opportunity. Um, again, embed a video, uh, maybe some text, something that will further the learning as the student is answering the question. Title, instructions, content source URL. And I'm going to show you um, some examples. Okay, so I've created the quiz and now I want to attach my outcomes, my teaks to each item within my quiz so that when it's time to run a report, I can see what students need help on. I'm back in my course and in my course navigation, I'm going to go down to right there. You click on outcomes. You can read all of this text on studying of outcomes, or you can watch this video up at the right hand side. I'm going to click on find. 
and account standards. San Marcos CISD, Central Knowledge and Skills. And now I can find my TEKS, let's say Social Studies. I'm gonna just go and import the whole batch. Okay. And now what that's going to do is it's going to import all of these outcomes that I can now access in my new quiz. So that was two steps um, and you can go either way, but remember to import your outcomes and then create your new quiz or create your new quiz and then go find your outcomes. Either way, you're going to have to do this step. So remember that. Okay. Now I've heard it takes a while to import, but let's go check it out. Maybe my outcomes are ready to go. Click on I am a quiz, the quiz that I was working on. Here they are. Now, when I'm creating my question, let's do matchy. I can now align it to an outcome right in here. A very simple overview of new quizzes. We're going to dig deeper into master paths. Um, and we're going to give you some examples of quizzes in this module so you can take a quiz and uh, get to see different ways that you could use this feature. All right.